Hello everyone, this is Lindsay and I want to welcome you back to my channel. If you're new, I do lots of junk journal related paper crafting projects, shares, flip throughs, and I own an online website. The link is below. So I have lots of artists that work with me to create many beautiful handmade journals and supplies for your crafting needs. Today I'm showing one of my suppliers uh, journals and supplies. This is Diana Smith, and I have a few hand-picked suppliers that get to create supplies, and then pretty much anybody can be an artist. So if you're interested in that, that means you can create um, journals as long as they fall under the guidelines, and there's information on my Facebook group about that, and I would also be happy to explain it to anybody who sends me an email. I'll put my email down below as well. So we have some beauties to look at today, and I am so excited. There's one of her journals that I set aside because it is challenge number one for 2021. It's one, a peacock journal, and I didn't want to give away any of those journals yet. Um, give away the surprise of what they're going to look like because I want to finish all of the marketplace boxes first, and then we will get into those. So it's set aside with some journals from other lovely ladies, and I... We'll be excited to share that later on. All right, so let's get right into this. First one is a bee journal. I love the little fabric flower on the front. And this is called Bee Journal. It's fabric covered repurposed book. And I really love her setup. This is a perfect way to deal with blank space, blank white pages, a little bit of stenciling and stamping makes it perfect for someone who wants to use this journal to write in. Get the, I have to see this lace. Oh, that's pretty. Some tags. Oh, that's a great idea. Little corner of a canceled envelope as a tuck spot. I don't think I've seen that before. Cute. Some little stitching. Love the journal cards. There's an envelope on here. You can tuck items in there. A little B tag. Nice big shipping tag. Lovely. Oh, I love that. That is so nice. It is so neutral colored. You could really add in whatever colors you wanted, or you could just keep it neutral. It's perfect. It's just a perfect writing journal. Yes, you could decorate it up, but I think it's a perfect writing journal. So let's look at this cute little rabbit journal. There's Peter Rabbit on a pink floral cover. There's a few little tags clipped on with a bulb pin. And it's called Peter Rabbit Metropolitan, name on the spine tag. Oh, I see, Peter Rabbit and then Metropolitan. That is cute. <laughs> Repurposed book, pink fabric, and then she's used a Victoria Designs Peter Rabbit kit. Peter Rabbit, those images are in the public domain, the original illustrations, because they're so old. We've just hit January 2021, as of when I'm filming this video. So items, we get a whole nother year of items added to the public domain. So 1925, those items uh, published in 1925 have become public domain. So you'll probably find a lot more goodies as you're searching. And if you don't like the search for public domain images, I would suggest you join my Vintage Image Club. Everything in there is public domain and you can use it for designs. You can use it to sell in your journals with no worries at all. I love this. It's just so sweet. It could be a baby journal, but I'm thinking springtime. You know, we're in the middle of January, but we're already looking forward to the spring, to new life, to things growing, to warmer, beautiful days. 
And that's what I'd use it for. But again, this could be, this would also be an excellent gift if you are looking for a baby gift for someone, but you don't know if they're having a boy or a girl. It's pink fabric, but it's a little Peter Rabbit with a blue jacket. So it could really go either way. So this might be good to just have on hand. If you know, maybe there's people in your church or in your family who are uh, expecting or about to, or you expect them to be expecting soon, have this on hand as a gift. Oh, look at this cover. Oh, there's a Peter Rabbit on there too. Look at that fabric and the little flowers. I'm excited to see what this is. Peter Rabbit. It's another Peter Rabbit one. And again, this would be perfect for a baby book for a boy or a girl. Or springtime. A gift for a grandchild. A daughter. A little girl. Or use it yourself if you love Peter Rabbit. This is a smaller one. It's a single signature. I think the other one was... Well, the other one was one signature too. I was thinking it was two. I love that cover. There's little carrots on the fabric. And perfect for Easter too. Perfect for Easter coming up. Look at this one. There's a little key. There's a little pouch with some tags tucked back there. And then I think this opens and you could, I don't know if there's anything in it. I don't think there's anything in it, but you could tuck in something that you wanted to keep safe and tucked away. This is called Vintage Pearls. Shabby Dabby Doodah Journal Kit. Ah, I just purchased a paper pack from her last week. It was a trellis birds, I think. I, I purchased it to do some collage work and I really love it. I printed it out. I've already used some of one of the pages, but I think I'm hoarding it a little too much. I need to use it. Look how pretty. Altered paper clip, coffee dyed pages, little half page, it's a little paper in there. I had this washi tape. I think I used it all. I love it so much. A good butterfly washi tape is definitely valuable. Lots of pages to write on. It's pretty florals. Look at that altered paper clip. Very, very pretty. There's that one, and I think that, oh, that's also one signature. Here's another blue one. It says Mr. McGregor's Garden, and it has Peter Rabbit again. Look at the doily and the linen, the embroidery on that, fabric covered, metal book corners. It's called Mr. McGregor's Garden, and again, using Peter Rabbit from Victoria Designs. So there's a lot of Peter Rabbit journals. Perfect time of year for that. It's so cute. Tags. It's got a lot of beauty in this simplicity here. Look at the little mouse. Some paper in there. Double pocket here. You could tuck things in. She's left you plenty of room to add your touches. Cute. And I love how she is changing things up. Just simple. This one's stitched. This one's just inked without being stitched. It gives a good variety to do different things. Like this pocket is not stitched, but some of them might be. No, get it back in there. belly band. This is stitched and collaged. It's on an index card. Oh, cute. Look at that little cluster. It says Peter Rabbit. 
definitely check out the kit, uh, Victoria Designs on Etsy. And this is fabric, really pretty. So that's another, that's Mr. McGregor's Garden. This one here says Inspired. And it's called Inspired. So she's used some of my Vintage Image Club, Artie Mays, Janie B. Journals, My Porch Prints. Pretty. Just a simple little sweet thing. Vintage. These are from uh, my Iris folder on Vintage Image Club. Make sure you join that club if you haven't. Ooh, we got to look at this. Look at that. That is so pretty. I love how the lace separates the different papers and then you have a focal image that you can write on the back beautiful. Some little tags. Ooh, that's cute. Little scrappy notebook. This would be cute too. I just had the idea, so I thought I would share it. Maybe you could stamp um, a favorite stamp on each little page and kind of keep a record. That could be really fun. Beautiful, beautiful. Cut apart. Ooh, that's cute. I throw away way too much plastic. I need to keep some and make some stuff like that. So that's just a simple little one signature. And then the final journal she sent, and there's a few supplies, so stay tuned. This is R. Let's tag. This is called Natura or Natura. So she's used the Playtime Naturalist. I created that with Lonnie. Janie B. Journals, My Porch Prints. Ooh, I am excited to see this. Beautiful. I'll point out the Playtime Naturalist when I see it. Oh, here we go. Made a little booklet with that's part of one of the pages. Tag, stenciling, so pretty, so simple, perfect for just opening and writing. I love the layout. Journals do not have to be over embellished. You do not have to take two months to make a journal and cover every page. You can, and that's just as wonderful, so don't get me wrong, but you don't have to. Look at how she did this gorgeous piece and put it on this page. But then for the next couple pages, we see simplicity. And then here is another, oh, that, that is gorgeous. I'm taking notes on her collage, the little buttons. I see the doily peeking out. I've had to teach myself collage. Oh, not, doesn't come naturally to me. I am getting better at it. So cute love the way it looks. That may have been the only Playtime Naturalist in here, but still. Oh, let's take a look at this one. Ooh, beautiful. There's a lot on there. Those are some beautiful pieces. Oh, I see this. Natural. Natura. I think it's supposed to say natural, but that's really cool. I like that. The little R. And you could replace the R, um, like if you could give it as a gift. Maybe R means something to you. If it doesn't, this is just a bulb pin. You could put on a charm and keep this for another project. No problem. Okay, so we have a couple goodies that she has sent as well because she's a supplier. And I have to put this disclaimer in here. If you are not a supplier, um, you can't send supplies. Only suppliers can. So what are these? Tuck spots, I think. She gave me a note. 10 corner bookmark or collage front back side. I think that's what these are. Oh, oh, nice. Okay, so we have a beautiful collaged image and then it turns in the back here, we have a tuck spot. So you could put in ephemera, photos, journaling, whatever you wanted there, book page as, that is so pretty. Can you see that? Look at this one. Oh, that is so pretty. You're stitching around that. And then you got your little tuck to add what you want there. 
And this one, look at the little feathery, how that adds to it. A little tuck. Beautiful. And there's your tuck. Oh, she's a piece of paper here to show you tuck spot. <laughs> Left side of the page. Oh. I get it. Okay, okay, okay. So here is my sample journal that the sweet Michelle made me. And you'll see a lot of it because this is what I'm using for examples. Um, let's find a page. I think I know what she's trying to say here. Maybe, maybe. Come on, Lindsay. Find a page. Find a page. Um, Find a page. I can't find a page. Got to find one that doesn't have other stuff going on, right? Okay, here's just a coffee dyed page. I think this is what you do. Look at that. You can tuck it on a corner if you wish. See? And then you have a tuck here and a tuck on the other side. Of course, you could just clip it on, but you can tuck it over a corner. Look at how pretty that would be. <laughs> it could go perfect on this page. I promise I won't steal it. I promise it will go back with the rest of its friends. So that's this set. These will be in Marketplace Supplies. All of the journals I shared will be in um, Marketplace Journals. So it should be pretty self-explanatory. Here's another set of them. So again, oh yep, these ones are right side of the page. Right tucks. Those are left tucks. Look at how pretty. So you probably want to buy both sets so you can have them for either side of the page. I love that idea. I will definitely have to steal it. Steal the idea. Not the tucks. I won't steal your tucks. Okay, what are these? Paper pockets. Cute. Three pockets and tags. Okay, so here's your little pocket. So this is meant to glue on to a page. And we will just give it a try. We won't actually glue it. But see? See how you could glue it right there and then this page is done. And then you have a gorgeous little journal card tag. They're totally done, ready to, for that last little bit. So there's that one. They're so pretty. Very pink. Look at the little teacups. So cute. So set of three. Love that. Here's another set of three. Slightly different, I think, but same colors. Love the bird eggs. Alrighty. Um, then she made some snippet rolls and she made me one. I am so privileged. Look at my little note. Just a little gift to express my appreciation for all that you do for us all. Thank you, Diana Smith. Well, thank you, Diana. And she had an idea and I agree with her that this, some of this would look perfect in the Rose Journal I'm working on in the Lindsay Create series. So I'm thinking if I can bring myself to actually cut this apart, someone else said they would like an idea for belly bands. And I thought maybe we would use some of this in the journal as a belly band. And if I can't bring myself to cut it up, then then um, maybe at least we'll look, look at it and try to put scissors to it. So be on the lookout the next week for a belly band snippet roll video under the Lindsay Creates. Take my sweater off, I'm getting warm. It was cool earlier, but it started to warm up. Okay, so here is snippet roll number one. So pretty. Okay, look at this. Wow, I don't know if I've seen your snippet rolls before, Diana, and if I have, I apologize that I forgot. But this, look at the buttons. This is so beautiful. Look at that giant button, look at that. Oh. Oh my, I have not seen one like this. Uh, Barb, Barb uh, Hutchinson, one of my suppliers, she makes gorgeous ones, but she has a slightly different style. And then I make them, but I have a different style. So it is really pretty. I do think I have some from uh, my, I do have a supplier who is relatively new slash waiting to kind of start, <laughs> Leah. And hopefully you will get to see some of her stuff in the next month. But I think I have some snippet rolls from her. So we will see her style later. Okay, so this is snippet roll number two. 
let's take a look at this one. Okay, okay, where does it, oh, pretty. Look at that. Little paper pieces, and I don't know which way it goes. I think it can go either way. Really, really gorgeous. And this is absolutely perfect for belly bands, pockets, and again, I think I'm going to try to cut hers up and use it in my journal to show you. If I don't, it's just because it's too pretty and I can't bring myself to do it. But I need to. I need to show you that it is okay to cut into these snippet rolls and use them for your project because otherwise we just wind up hoarding things, right? Snippet roll three is this one. I'm not going to unroll the whole thing. I'll take some pictures of it. You've seen her style. You can see how pretty that is. Look at the, the little flowers. And then there's a four as well. Right. Whoa. Don't drop things, Lindsay. Right here. Oh, look at how pretty. So pretty. I'll take pictures. You can see it on the website. Look at the little blue bow. So cute. So four of those available. All right. That is everything from Diana. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, this was one box and one envelope worth of stuff from her. I can't wait to get them to you guys. I know you're going to love them and be even more inspired when you actually hold them. And I hope you have just an excellent day. I hope it is full of inspiration, love, joy, and peace. Thank you so much for watching.